All right, guys, so it's Tackle Tuesday, right? So it's time to take a look at some new tackle here. Um, by no means is any of this stuff new to the market. It's been out there, but one of the things I talked about that I want to improve for 2017 is my square bill game. So I've picked up a couple different lures here. I'm going to kind of show you uh, what's going on with them and how I think it's going to help out. Um, so the first one I'm going to show you here has been around forever. Um, Mr. KVD himself, uh, I've got a couple different square bills here. These are all going to be 1.5s. Uh, so the 1.5 is going to dive to 3 to 5 feet. And of course, uh, it floats up and then as you crank on it, it's going to dig down. All of these have the actual square bill on them. So when they hit rocks, they hit stumps, they're going to go ahead and pop and kind of uh, yank off of there. So I picked out four different common colors. This one right here is referred to as the powder blueback chartreuse. So if I kind of have that stained water, um, I think that this color will help out. It'll make it a lot easier to kind of see in that water. As you can see there's its square bill. Already has a, an oval shaped split ring on the end of it. And then of course some hooks that I'll probably end up switching out. So really good looking bait right there. Uh, next one we got, this one's gonna be referred to as the Red Sexy Shad. Of course that Sexy Shad is kind of patented by Mr. KVD himself. So. The sexy shad pattern is the colored back, the stripe down the side, and then of course the, the lighter belly. And in this case, this one is chrome, red, I'd almost call it like a, somewhere between a red and a pink, and then it's got the yellow stripe with the black dot going down the side. Same, um, same depth, three to five feet, all these guys are going to be the 1.5s. Um, and then of course we have the original sexy shad here. Let's see if I can keep getting these hooks hung up together. This is going to be blue back right there with a yellow line going down the sides probably pretty hard to see in the video and then of course the kind of white belly to it no dot on this one so pretty interesting there and then this one right here is what they call the golden sexy shad so it's going to be very similar to the red sh uh, sexy shad but in this case it's going to have that baby blue back yellow side going into a gold belly so again, maybe like that overcast kind of day, I'll have a little bit of that gold. It does have the white with a little orange spot to kind of give them something to target. That'll kind of help out too on those overcast days, get a little bit of flash kind of going out there. So all of these lures too, they barely have any noise to them. They're gonna be pretty quiet. They got just a tiny, tiny uh, BB inside of them. So they're not gonna make a lot of noise. Um, you know, when the bite gets really, really tough, uh, you want to kind of maybe quiet it down so that it's not just this loud, obnoxious bait with all these rattles just running through the water column. All right, so the next set I've got here, um, let me show you the top water one first because it's a little bit different than the rest. Um, this is the Livingston Walking Boss 2. So you can see it's got the broken back there, three sets of hooks with kind of the tournament trailer on the back, and then it's got the really unique clear lit to it and it's cupped going up and out in either direction and so what this top water does specifically is it allows you to walk the dog without doing anything so maybe you're new to top waters and you need that lure out there to kind of you know teach you how it's supposed to look you cast this thing out and just reel it in and what happens is that lip catches and catches and catches as it's coming back in and it'll automatically walk that dog for you. You can go at any speed. You can bring it in real fast. You can go real, real slow. And so that makes it great. Now, of course, if you're not familiar with Livingston, what's really interesting about these is it's got sound technology. Uh, let's see if it actually calls it. It is the EBS multi-touch technology. So what it does is it actually has, you can kind of see inside of there, it actually has got a little chip and a little battery and it actually makes fish sounds. So this one right here, if you look at the bottom of it where it says livingstonlures.com, it's got a little three on there. So it'll make three different sounds for you. It'll make the original sound that they came up with, it'll make a crawl clacking sound, and then it makes a shad bait uh, EBS shad sound kind of sounds like a shad feeding kind of thing so it kind of get those bass worked up so pretty interesting so that one's a top water I went through that last night at the lake um, unfortunately I didn't catch anything still kind of cold in that water level water temperature so uh, they weren't really hitting on the surface but I wanted to see what that bait was like uh, the next one I got here this one is gonna be uh, another little Livingston, same company. They're all going to have this kind of blue packaging here. Um, but this one is basically 
just a little shad color. It's got a little bit of yellow on the sides, kind of that green back, but it's a pretty flat color. It's not real, real bright, but what it has is a circuit board coffin bill. So what's cool about the coffin bill is that it's got four points on the front that it can catch and deflect off of. So when it grabs that it'll bend, bend, bend as that line stretching and then it pops. And when it pops, that's what's going to kind of get that reaction out of those fish. Um, so it's very, very interesting. Let's see if I can get it to kind of rotate through the sounds that it makes and see if you can kind of pick up those sounds um, via the camera here. So I don't know if y'all can hear that or if it's picking it up. But they're programmable, so you can go through and you can set the one that you want. And it's got instructions on the back of the package how to go through and program them. Um, I set this one and the top water to the feeding shad sound, which is that sound that you may or may not have heard uh, right now. Um, and these are all these are 1.5s too. It just so happens whether it's a square bill or a coffin bill. So the next one I've got here is another coffin bill. They refer to it as CB for coffin bill, 1.5. And the color on this one is called Blue Truce. Just like chartreuse, but Blue Truce. So it's pretty interesting. It's very translucent. It's got that blue purplish back to it. And of course the chartreuse belly. But same thing as this other one you just saw. It's again, coffin bill, circuit board, real, real thin. And it'll have those same, same sounds that you just heard. And then, of course, the last one we've got is this guy right here. Now, this one's switching back over. It's number 1143, and it's called the Guntersville's Craw, and it is an actual square bill. So this is the one to kind of dig and bang through the rocks because it's going to be over in that crawfish color. So uh, I will go through, and I will set this one to the EBS Craw sound, and it's more of a, a clacking instead of a chirping kind of noise. And, of course, again, circuit board lip on it in a square shape so it'll grab and deflect just a little bit differently so it ought to be pretty interesting these are a couple of the square bills that i'm kind of adding to my collection so that i can uh try and improve that game this year you know i think uh springtime's just around the corner i'd like to throw these guys and kind of see what's going on i uh, just picked up a new spool of fluorocarbon so uh i will be throwing this on 14 pound fluorocarbon uh of course on one of my shimano reels and uh Hopefully this works out for me. Uh, if you guys got any questions about any of these lures or if there's anything you want to see, please go ahead and comment down below. If you like the video on what these look like, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. Uh, but that's just a quick glance real quick, guys, on some of the square bills that I'll be adding to my tackle collection here. And, of course, one of the top waters there. Uh, of course, in some of my later videos, I will definitely show you some hookups and what that lure looks like swimming in the water. But until next time, guys, stay tuned, and we'll see you later. Thanks.